In a modern battlefield, perhaps the most advanced threat the F-15 is likely to encounter is Russia's Su-35. While there are many fifth-generation fighter jets in development, these aircraft are likely to be too expensive to ever become commonplace. The Su-35 is a genuinely dangerous war machine, and in many metrics, it matches or even exceeds the capabilities of the latest variant of the F-15. Today, we're stacking up the United States F-15E Strike Eagle against Russia's Su-35 Flanker, and we'll try to determine which one would most likely win in a hypothetical matchup. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. The F-15E Strike Eagle is the latest in all-weather multi-role strike fighter derived from the F-15 Eagle, which has long been hailed as the most successful fighter jet in history, boasting an undefeated air-to-air -air combat record of more than 100 aerial victories. The F-15E was first introduced in 1989. Around 513 F-15Es have been built so far, with per unit cost of $138 million. The F-15E is crewed by a pilot and a weapons systems officer. The empty weight of the aircraft is 45,000 pounds, and it can take off with a maximum weight of 81,000 pounds. The jet is powered by two Pratt & Whitney low-bypass turbofan engines, which produce around 58,000 pounds of thrust combined. These engines can push the aircraft to a top speed of 1,875 miles per hour. With a ferry range of 3,500 miles, this aircraft can combat within the radius of 1,221 miles. The F-15E can climb at a rate of 833 feet per second and can reach a maximum altitude of 65,000 feet. The fighter jet comes with 11 hardpoints. The aircraft is also armed with a 20mm six-barreled rotary cannon. On the other hand, the Su-35 is based on the Su-27 fighter jet. The Su-35 was first rolled out in 2014. Around 119 Su-35s have been built so far, with per unit cost of $91 million. Operated by a crew of one, the aircraft comes in at a weight of 41,888 pounds and can take off with a maximum weight of 76,059 pounds. The Su-35 is powered by two afterburning turbofan engines, producing 64,000 pounds of thrust combined. With the help of these engines, the aircraft can fly at top speed of 1,726 miles per hour. With a ferry range of 2,800 miles, the aircraft can conduct combat operations within the radius of 994 miles. The jet can climb at a rate of 919 feet per second and can reach a maximum altitude of 59,000 feet. The aircraft is outfitted with 12 hardpoints in addition to a 30-millimeter autocannon. In terms of maximum speed, the Su-35 is slower than the F-15E, but the Russian aircraft can out-accelerate the Strike Eagle with its powerful twin engines. The jet can maintain supersonic speeds without using its afterburners. Number 2. The F-15E's superior maneuverability and acceleration are achieved through low-wing loading and high-engine thrust-to-weight ratio. Low wing loading combined with higher thrust to weight ratio enables the aircraft to turn tightly without losing airspeed. The dynamic thrust output of both engines is greater than the aircraft's combat weight and drag, which enables the jet to accelerate vertically. Unlike the Su-35, the aircraft does not have aerodynamic exhaust pedals covering its engine nozzles because the pedal design on the F-15E was problematic and could fall off in flight. Therefore, they were removed, resulting in an aerodynamic drag increase. In contrast, the Su-35 has a huge lead in this category against its adversary. The aircraft is an exceptionally maneuverable machine, also credited as one of the most agile aircraft ever built. With the help of thrust vectoring engines, the jet can achieve the desired position for a kill as the aircraft can freely maneuver to point its nose and weapons in any direction. 
The aircraft's wing leading edge extensions redirect the airflow to eliminate buffeting at high angles of attack and allow the airframe to sustain 9G's maneuvers. There is no doubt that the SU-35's advantage in maneuverability would remain unchallenged for some time to come. However, the deadly effectiveness of short-range, high off foresight missiles and the fact that the aircraft no longer needs to be pointed at their adversaries to launch missiles may actually diminish the benefits of superior maneuverability in future close-range encounters. Therefore, the close-in visual encounters will be mutual kill situations for both jets. Number 3. The F-15E has been upgraded with the APG-82 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar. The range of the radar is classified. However, some defense analysts believe that this radar has far greater range and performance as compared with the legacy radars outfitted on the F-15C. The latest variant of the F-15E has multi-session avionics, including head-up display, helmet-mounted queuing system, inertial navigation system, flight instruments, Link 16, and tactical navigation system. The aircraft also features a mounted tactical electronic warfare system, known as Identification Friend or Foe. On the other hand, the Su-35 employs the powerful Urbis-E radar, which can even detect low-observable stealth aircraft, UAVs and missiles with RCS of 0.01 square meters, at range of 56 miles. It can detect 30 airborne targets with RCS of 3 square meters at a range of 249 miles and can engage 8 of them simultaneously. An opto-electronic targeting system is outfitted on the cockpit, which provides infrared search and track capability. The SU-35 is equipped with the electronic countermeasure system and radar absorbent materials to lower its frontal RCS. The EW suite comprises a radar warning, cooperative radar jammers, missile approach warner, and flare dispenser. Both aircraft have almost equal ability in terms of electronic warfare. However, the SU-35's onboard radar and passive sensors can even detect a stealth fighter at close range. Then again, it depends on the outcome of BVR engagement before a stealth fighter is too close to the SU-35. Number 4. Both planes are equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry. The Strike Eagle is armed with combinations of air-to-air, air-to-surface, and bombs on its 11 hardpoints. For BVR engagements, the 15E can use AIM-120 with range in excess of 100 miles. For short range, the aircraft can use AIM-7M and AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles. The AIM-9X missile is capable of locking onto a target that is in its field of regard up to 90 degrees off foresight. For dogfights, the jet is outfitted with an internal 20mm Gatling gun in its right wing with 600 rounds. The F-15E can carry payloads up to 23,000 pounds. On the other hand, the Su-35 has 12 weapon stations, consisting of two wingtip rails and 10 wing and fuselage stations with a carrying capacity of 17,637 pounds, in combinations of rockets, missiles, and bombs. At medium range, the Su-35 can use K-77M radar-guided missiles with a range of 120 miles. For shorter range engagements, the R-74 infrared guided missile is capable of targeting off site. The R-74 has a range of over 25 miles and also uses thrust vectoring technology. The R-37 and R-27, with ranges of 247 miles and 106 miles respectively, complete the Su-35's air-to-air missile selection. The Su-35 is armed with a 30mm cannon loaded with 150 rounds for dogfighting. Both fighter jets can carry a wide array of missiles, ranging from high off foresight to long-range missiles. The Russian jet has extra long-range missiles with range in excess of 247 miles. However, for BVR engagements, it depends on the radar capability and pilot skills to detect its opponent first. So what do you think? Which fighter jet is better? The United States F-15E Strike Eagle or Russia's Su-35 Flanker? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.